Hello and welcome back. My name's Matthew McLaughlin, and today we're going to be seeing what it's like to take a Talaria Sting electric dirt bike to and from work commuting for a whole week. I wanted to give you an inside look into what my daily routine looks like using the Talaria as a commuter vehicle. Today is the third day commuting on this single charge. Let's see how far we can get. All right, all right. Today we're taking the Talaria to work. Gonna see how it is finding some back roads and stuff to go on instead of the highways. Beautiful little morning. Nice and early, have an early shift today. <laughs> Gotta go through here. Kind of pushing the gate. Yeah. There we go. And now we're off. Commuting time. Commuting time. Time to do some commuting. So we're gonna show you kind of the benefits of this, which is that if you have a sketchy crossing, like I do there to start off my day, you can hop on the sidewalks because it's basically a bike, you know? And this really shows one of the funnest parts of the bike. You get some twisties on your way. Whew, little technical section. <laughs> Yeah, since we're on the sidewalk, we're gonna make sure that all the cars uh, know what we're doing. And, oh, okay. She did not even look for me. Didn't look for me either. All right, yeet. Cars are not watching for me today. So as you can probably hear, extremely quiet. I mean, no engine noise, no motor noise, no nothing of that nature. Sport mode. And you can commute just the same on the road. This bike keeps up with traffic. It's got good punch off the line. It's just easy, you know? Yeah, beautiful morning. Nobody out except for like walking dogs in parks and stuff. It's great. And barely any cars. Now, of course, I don't have any brake lights. So, got to use hand signals. And I don't have turn signals either, so I'm treating it as a moped. So, it ain't a rocket ship or anything. But, I'm taking roads that are, I think the highest speed limit's 40 or so. And it handles them excellently. I mean, there's no problems whatsoever. Roll off the gas, use some engine braking, tell people which direction I'm going, and then follow the truck. Peaceful is definitely one of the best ways to describe it because all you hear is a slight whine of the motor and that's really about it. You know, a little bit of wind in your hair as if you were riding a bicycle and nothing more. A right, little off the throttle, use that regen. So everybody that I'm slowing down and then I'm going left using those hand signals. What's funny is that a few of the uh, most common questions are, is it stable once you get it up to speed? And the answer is absolutely yes. They uh, really worked on the geometry of these and you don't have to worry a bit about stability. It's just so easy. Now, I'm trying this route out to see how it goes. Because it looked pretty cool from yesterday's ride. 
but I don't know if it connects. It looked like it did, but I'm not sure. So let's see. That leads to pretty much a dead end. Guess we can see what's over here. Looks like maybe I can get through over here. No, barbed wire. Too bad that wire isn't there. I'd be able to sneak the bike through. Get to the ditch on the other side. Nice. So, a little miss going on our adventure, but that's what makes it an adventure. Fun part two, those were all uh, thorn bushes. So, a trial. You know, we did our best to try to find an off-road thing. Didn't find it, at least on this one. But it was still a lot of fun. Alright, I put it in eco so it was a less jumpy throttle. So I'm putting it back in sport since we're heading out back on the open road. <laughs> and into the way we know we can get to work. Yeah, great little neighborhood here. Beautiful lakes, little ducks on the side, quiet, so nice. Now, one thing I'm definitely gonna do before we head in there is I got one of those vines wrapped around my foot. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, nobody coming. Time to make our way. <laughs> you gotta give it a good attempt, you know? End of the day. Heading home, time to go home. <laughs> it's so tiny, dude. It's ridiculous. All right, see ya. Later, man. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Just a wee little one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. 23% battery. Here we go. into the neighborhood. Beautiful day. A little bit windier than normal, but not bad by any means. Got to put that sunshade down. Go for a little bit of fun. Put it in eco just to make sure I don't get too rowdy uh, on these people's sidewalks and everything. Beautiful little area. <laughs> All right, and then back onto the road. More power. That's cool, you can feel a little bit of spray from that fountain over there. That's cool. 22% battery. 
pandas. It'd be real interesting without a car behind me. Check to make sure both ways, and we're good. And making a switch to the right. Power, power, power. Oh yeah, you can feel how much slower it is now that it's on a lot lower battery. Less punch for sure. Into the turn. Yeah, I think now we're limited to eco mode because I think that we're under 20% now. The screen actually throws up a little bit, so I don't know exactly. Like, it's still working, but yeah, we're definitely very limited on how fast we can go. People get confused with the hand signs. Very interesting. And head off right here. Yeet. This little place. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, that looks so, so dangerous. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Practice, practice the balance. All right. <laughs> oh my God, that's so awesome. At least one more time. A little sketch. All right, jump. <laughs> we got a little bit of air that time. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. All right. Now it's time to get back home. That is so awesome. Thank you very much, little bowl. That was a blast. So I think I can go that way and then go right. jolt to the system. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> oh, those are too much fun, bro. Too much fun. All right. <laughs> yeah, we could definitely go faster if we have more battery, for sure. Time to just make it home. Oh, good times, good times. I think it just cut out on me. Maybe we're at lip mode now. So we're gonna take the sidewalk back. FC, uh, FC07, very nice. Yeah, so before we were just on, we were stuck at Eco because the battery probably hit 20%. Now we're definitely a limp mode. Like here's full throttle. Not much to write home about full throttle or limp mode. And that's why it's a limp mode. You ain't running a race while you're limping but definitely taking the sidewalks home just because I can definitely not keep up with traffic. And that's why it's nice that it looks like a bicycle because now I can just cruise home all comfortable like. Very nice, very nice. This is still really nice. This is, this is just e-bike pace, you know? This is class two e-bikes, just chilling, having a good time.
fun little twisty section. Full throttle. <laughs> yeah, that's full throttle still. Just kind of cruising. It's good to know that I can get home like this, but uh, yeah, it's definitely extremely slow. And code time. Yeet, full throttle. Let's see if we can get to the gate. And we're back. All right. Well, there we go. Flip the breaker and then push down, disconnect the battery, and then pull said battery. Thank you so much for watching. It's a blast riding this bike to and from work, and if you're looking to save a lot of money, this is a good way to get there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and, and we'll see we you soon. Have a good one. All tucked away for the night.